On February the 2nd, SpaceX conducted another flight test of the Starship Interplanetary Transport System, designed to revolutionize space travel. During a test jump of 32,808 feet, the SN9 prototype successfully launched, reached the specific altitude, and carried out a controlled fall. The flight ended up with an epic explosion, or as SpaceX experts say, an RUD, a rapid unscheduled disassembly. The test resulted in the loss of the second device in a row, initiating many questions from Elon Musk's fans. This is the Innovative Techs channel, and right now, we will explain to you how the prototype of Elon Musk's Starship SN9 spacecraft exploded on landing. For a better understanding of this situation, we need to go back in time to December of 2020. It was then that SpaceX, after much preparation and several jump tests, was able to launch a functional prototype SN8. Unlike previous devices, the design of this ship had aerodynamic elements and three Raptor engines at once. Thanks to this, the company's specialists could work out takeoff and landing, including the previously unseen principle of ship return. In fact, SN8 was supposed to climb to an altitude of 41,010 feet and then make a controlled fall, as well as an experimental maneuver called the backflip. A backflip is a complicated enough trick in gymnastics, but for our hero, it would only be enough to go from a horizontal position to a vertical one, after which he would make a soft landing. As we know, SpaceX failed to achieve the latter. The SN8 prototype did successfully complete 80% of its tasks, but just before landing, experienced problems with the engines, leading to a quick, unscheduled disassembly. The company immediately investigated and analyzed the test results. In the course of studying the data, it turned out that the reason for the hard landing, followed by the spectacular explosion, was issues with the supply of one of the fuel components. During the test flight, the pressure in the oxygen tank dropped to a critical level. As a result, during landing burn, the engines could not provide the required thrust and one of the Raptors shut down a few seconds before the fall. The test flight is still generally considered successful because Elon Musk himself said that there was only a 33% chance of a successful launch. Nevertheless, everyone hoped that SN9 would perfect the landing and for the first time in history, make a successful backflip maneuver prior to landing. The life of the SN9 prototype was a rocky one from the start. A few days after the SN8 tests, one of the supports of the apparatus broke, causing the entire structure to lean on the hangar wall where the Starship was being assembled. However, SpaceX was not taken aback. With the help of a giant Tankzilla crane, they lifted the prototype and replaced the damaged flaps. After the recovery, SN9 was rolled out to the launch pad with the aim of quickly launching it into the sky. But even then there were some issues. During the several static burns, two of the Raptor's three engines were damaged and replaced with new ones. This in turn caused discontent within the United States Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, and a long delay in the issuance of a flight license. In addition, Officials said SpaceX had violated license terms during the SN8 launch. The details of these violations were not clearly described. These bureaucratic procedures and delays angered Elon Musk, who was trying to personally obtain permission for a test flight. The SpaceX owner expressed his outrage on Twitter, criticizing the agency. As the situation progressed, this confrontation would continue to develop into a serious battle between the state regulator and the famous tech mogul. The weather, which for several days delayed the launch of Starship, was an unrelenting fly in the ointment. A strong wind over the Boca Chica spaceport was constantly postponing test flights. Only by February the 2nd were all the problems with the FAA settled and the weather clear enough for a launch. It was on this day that SN9 took off for the sky. After examining the hard landing of the previous prototype, SpaceX made design changes to their ship. Special blowers were installed to maintain the required pressure at the time of engine startup before landing. 
The specialists hoped it would be possible to avoid an emergency situation similar to the Raptor shutdown. Interestingly, the extended preparation for the launch of SN9 offered SpaceX fans an incredible sight. Two Starship prototypes were installed at once on the launch pads. Without waiting for permission from the FAA to take off, on January 22nd, the company rolled out a device with serial number 10 to the launch pad. Finally, on February 2nd, 2021, SpaceX received all the necessary permits and the weather was favorable for a launch. At 2.25 p.m. in Texas, Central Standard Time, the flight prototype SN9 started three Raptor engines and took off. The tests were carried out according to a similar scheme to the SN8 jump and were partially successful. The device achieved its target altitude of 6.2 miles, carried out a horizontal descent, and that was the end of the good news. During the pre-landing backflip maneuver, another engine failure occurred. Only one Raptor ignited, while a second engine operated for only a couple of seconds. As a result, the prototype rolled off and was unable to level out before landing. Furthermore, the power of that one engine was not enough to reduce speed in time. SN9 fell on the landing site in the leaning tower position and commenced the now familiar rapid unscheduled disassembly maneuver. Despite another spectacular disassembly of the Starship prototype during landing, the first half of the tests were successful. However, problems with engine startup still plague SpaceX. Whether it is possible to solve them will become very clear in the near future, because SN10, despite being positioned relatively close to SN9, was not damaged in the explosion. It still holds its place on the launch pad and waits for the Raptor to be installed. The next test launch and attempt to land the Starship might take place in a couple of weeks. SpaceX has made it clear that they are determined to succeed and that, at the root, these issues all point back to the same problems with the fuel supply. In the coming days, the company is set to publish a report on SN9's explosive test. Nevertheless, the FAA can put a spoke in the wheels of Elon Musk's dream. The conflict between the agency and the billionaire persists. The regulator is investigating violations of the test license, which may affect the future schedule of test flights. And although the FAA assures us that this investigation will not lead to delays, in reality, the results may negatively affect the pace of the Starship's development. Do you think SpaceX can successfully land the next prototype SN10? Share your opinion in the comments below and like the video if you enjoyed the episode. This was Innovative Techs. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon.